Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. This is Fantasy Cow Radio. This is my uh, favorite Warbands uh, mod. Warband, of course, the classic war game for first person strategic role playing. Um, you know, a first person adventure shooter type. I don't even know what to call it. I have a very specific way of going about creating my characters, as you saw. I like to have a more or less balanced attribute stat, and I like to pick out all of the things that have to do with leadership, the leader skill, which is, uh, I like to hire hirelings to do specific roles, so I like to have a scout who helps me with movement and eyesight stuff on the big map. And then I like uh, to have a healer. And I kind of like sometimes to have a little trader guy. Although I usually have some trade skill of my own too. But I focus mainly on the combat spells and leadership skills because those I don't get to borrow from my followers. So uh, here you see me picking all of the <laughs> tactics that you can use when your followers tactics, but also happens from time to time is uh, you lose a battle, you lose your followers. Here I randomize my guy with a big beard, make him look old. Done. Interesting. I usually check a different skin tone. So I've got Durin Stonehenge, the ancient African dwarf. But that's all right because I am multicultural. There we go. That's right. That's the way to do it. I actually redid this scene. <coughs> Five times. <laughs> That's right, I started over five times. It's been a long time since I've played this. Did you just kill that man? Come, talk to me. We will discuss killing other men. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near to you to speak. doesn't actually come near to me, I have to come near to him. So he just stands there. And then I have to try and remember how to talk to people because, did I mention? Been a while since I've played this game. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> punching in. Ah, now, there it is. Now, let me explain my proposition. We got the Bragdons in the hills of kidnap of my brother because he's an idiot and he don't know how to come out of the streets. They want me to pay them money for his life, but he is not worth all that money. But I'm going to pay you a little bit of money to get him back. Give you a hundred denarii to go out and get a few men and go kill these bandits to get him back on my brother. Oi! I'm interested. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good. Uh, you can find me again in the tavern here in Sargoth after you've got your group together. Uh, then we'll speak about what we do next. You have taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q any time in the game. <laughs> There's that quest screen, and off we go. I stand. Press tab. See? Press tab. There we go. Me all by my lonely self on my horse, which they let you start with. Isn't that keen? Because they're kind of expensive. You're now viewing the Overland map. Left click on the map to move your party that direction. Enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause on the Overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To wait anywhere, simply press and hold down the space bar. Okay. Okay. So off we go to Quinn. It's been so long since I've played this, like, the town names don't even sound right. 
six recruits right off the bat is actually pretty good. I've got this up on all the highest difficulties, despite the fact that I'm <laughs> haven't played in months, which is part of the reason why I had to redo everything. So going over here to catch me a few more recruits. See, this mod has little ships. The sh ship combat sucks. I don't ever do it. I'm, I'm not even sure you can. It works like a uh, Warsword Conquest. It's horrible. Yeah, two more guys. Off. Back to Sargoth. Back to Sargoth with you! Maybe I should say. Let's ride back to Sargoth! Yeah, we'll talk to that greasy little mangy surgeon merchant. Surgeon? <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I, I thought about going to the tournament, but did I mention? It's been a while since I've played. When I play it on max difficulty, I very rarely win tournaments. Uh... See, I've got the uh, tiny, tiny little bit of mana there. Splendid work! You find a five old man. Now go rescue my brother before I beat you with a wet noodle. Very well. I'll hunt for the bandits. I'm gonna ask him why you don't come along and make some excuse. It's not very entertaining, so I don't ask him. Let's ride! Oh no, let's not join the tournament, let's ride! Flank meet the Guildmaster. Ah, there it is. Leave! <laughs> and robbers. So. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where do you keep your prisoners? Ha! Ah, those prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No. But I brought steel. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty easy battle. George, I was trying to figure out. Yeah, I don't want to retreat. What I want to do is remember how to position people. That button's not the positioning people button. <laughs> that button's not the position people button. The button is F1, in case you want to know. Here I throw my sword and my shield on the ground, because I'm so pissed that I can't remember how to position my people. And then I go check and I'm like, no, I don't have any weapons. It's F1, and then you can put a banner out and your people will go there, depending on which group you call out first. So you can use one, two, or three to do your... Uh... Look, he's riding away with that as weapons. One's infantry, two's archery, three's cavs, and you can actually set up other ones, and then you can tell them what to do, but I could not remember that. So I hit my horse, then I drew my sword, got my shield, climbed up on my horse with my shield, still on my arm, probably physically impossible, and ran to the rescue of my noble troops, who, as it turned out, had already won the battle. <laughs> so, yeah, glad I got that all straightened out. Uh, I think I'd throw my stuff around some more. Probably should just cut this part. I. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. You've been keeping him in a hideout near Ferriton. I'll describe the area nearby in detail. Can't miss it. I always take everything. And then, like, if there's other stuff later, I ditch the cheap stuff and pick up the more expensive stuff later. So, like that stone, a lot of people just, like, leave the stones. No, I, every little freaking money piece of money I take. <laughs> so, 
Back to Sargoth. Back to Sargoth. Back to Sargoth. Oh yeah, we got one guy. One lame huntsman. I'm so unused to having only one person advance that I sit there for a moment trying to figure out how to advance some more people, but can't because everybody's sick. They're not sick. Nobody's uh ready. No training. No training. Oh, uh, we go back to Sargoth. Eventually. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh, that's right! I don't have to go back to Sargoth. I have to go pick up the... Uh... Bandits! I have to go pick up the brother-in-law, the kid, the punk, the jerk. Nighttime falls across the countryside, and still we ride. This is the point at which I'm trying to remember how to make the map go faster. Um, you can make your horse run faster by holding control space, but I kept trying shift space. Here I discover looters. <laughs> looters are real wimps, and there's only five of them, so off we go to loot the looters. I'm gonna loot ya! What do you want? Well, I want to take all your stuff away. What else will I be doing? As you wish. Prepare to die. No, <laughs> you first. Charge! Yep, here we go. Nope, that button still doesn't move the flag, Shane. <laughs> nope. So I basically run out to just see if I can't take down some people. There are some people. But my timing is all shot to snot. Yeah, yeah, that was great. That was even better. But you see, they're just throwing rocks, so it's no biggie. Missed again. I said I missed again. Ooh, there you go. There's a little blood guts and snot for your sword. A little sword snot for you. And, oh, I hit another one. Finally getting the... That guy. He didn't die though, he had no armor. So I cut his head off. Well, I didn't cut his head off. And I hit the stone. And we win! Despite. Well, because, you know, <laughs> four barely armed looters. <laughs> and I dropped my sword. Fast forward! Fast forward! Oh, here again I take everything and get my little grubby little fingers on. I want all the loot! Give me all of it! Every last little wool cat! Why would you leave a wool cat behind? A wool cat saved is a wool cat earned! <laughs> Still don't remember how to go fast forward. There she is. Not so hidden as we were led to believe. Actually, I guess that's not exactly it. Oop. So, I looked up how to move. See, there's the flag, F1. And they all stand right there because that was a really stupid place to tell them to stand. So, I began experimenting to try and figure out how to get them to charge, and eventually it works. Notice the waves are just looking horrible. No, um, what's going on with my computer? But I need to update a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So there they go, charging. The waves just look horrible. Oh, right. Where, where are you going? You filthy cowards! You're running away already! There's not even four people here! Come on, follow me! Here we go! Here we go! Look at him. You filthy cowards! Get yourselves up here! 
gonna fight all these bandits by myself? It's what I hired you for. There's only like four of them left, or five? This poor sap, the only one with any balls, and he ends up getting himself killed. <laughs> oh. uh. Got myself smacked that time. Guess I'll hang back like a coward myself now. <laughs> no use getting myself beat up. Let's up here, all you bastards. Am I looking a mess now? Thank you. Thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Yeah, told him I'd find you. With the retreat cut off, looters fall one by one to your blade, and you take all of their crap. Here I am. Balancing out the cheap crap with the expensive crap. Sure, we can cut this part out. Training. Don't have a whole lot of dinari. Not a whole lot of dinner going on. Nope. 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 I forget what made me not hire anybody in Furitan. But I didn't. So I turned myself around. But now it's night time. And you know what happens then? Out of that same clear white snow. Well, there's a twice the size party of them. And I try to run away. Look. That's a nice head me. you have on your shoulders. I think one of them just appears in front of me. I'm not afraid of you. I will fight. What choice do I have? <clears throat> so. Stay there. I'm gonna go out. Basically, my old plan used to be to ride around and around them until they would uh, run out of ammo. But I have forgotten how to do all that fun stuff. You basically, gotta get in pretty close to them so you can run a pretty tight circle. I had to do that to get them to pay attention to me. And then I turned the wrong way. And I'm already wounded, which was not good. And then I'm way too far off. Which causes my circle to get oblong, which causes me to get hit some more by spells. <laughs> and miss that guy. And that's just the way it is, I turn into the weather. At some point I tell him to go ahead. Charge! Yep, everyone! <laughs> Cause I'm about dead! And I get that guy, which is probably a good thing. But I'm just... At this point I'm just... Ah, yep, random arrow. Because if you're running straight at him, clip this a little bit. The Linux version of this game, when there's a camera, you should be able to fly around and watch the combat, but it doesn't work in Linux, and I don't really know why. It's really hard to point the camera, so. Clip that part! Oh, we leave some soldiers behind. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> you tell one of your troops to stay behind. Oh, I actually got three left. Yeah, see, they just appeared right in front of me, and then the other ones caught up, and I was just posed. Training. 54 denari left. <laughs> Four people, so I go to Fanata. Because you really don't.
don't want to go back to town with just four guys. But unfortunately, the town of Fanata has no recruits. So I decide I'll go ahead and just go on the Quinn. Again, no recruits. So I take myself into town and I try to remember what happens is you gotta go talk to the elder. And you have to take a chore. I forgot about the whole chore thing. So I go to talk to the elder, I remember the chore thing, and I leave because I don't want to do a chore right now. Yeah, have any tasks I can help you with? Oh, you do? Well, maybe some other time then. <laughs> and then it dawns on me yet again that I really can't go in there with a grand total of four guys. Apparently it doesn't dawn on me until now. Yep, that's when it dawns on me. <laughs> so. I'll go recruit some more guys and come back. So I take it down to Ambeen. That's where I get my new recruits. We'll be right back. So, I'm climbing back up the stairs at Sargoth now. Got me a little wee bit of a remembrance now of how to cast my spells. It's the B button. Can't really remember. It's actually really, really a pain. But, hey, you know. End up talking to the wrong guy. This guy you sell your slaves to. This is the merchant. Well, my brother is home safe now. I can send him back home to his mom. Is the rest of your reward? It was a well earned. The money is most welcome, and I'm glad to have it. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Well, to sum up, I need you to uh, capture a captain so I can torture him and get information. I don't know you're telling me the truth. I suppose I could have had my brother captured to make a lie. But they put me in the middle of the battle with all of my stuff sheathed, and I can't remember how to get how to do how to do. Oh! So the way I have it set up, the mouse wheel draws stuff. I totally forgot how to draw my weapons and died instantly. Great. <laughs> Everybody, hear me! Stand fast, retreat! Yeah, I do believe we can fast forward through this part as well. Alright, I suppose it'll be off then. So, I'm thinking... Go to the marketplace. <clears throat> Do I forget to sell my stuff? Oh uh, yes, I sell all my stuff. I cannot remember whether this is a good price for linen. I don't think it is. I can tell that the fishing stuff is too expensive, so I don't buy it. I don't think I buy any of it. But I sell all this junk over here. So there's that. Sell everything, sell everything, sell everything, sell every thing. Don't sell the food. Checking the prices, checking the prices. My doubts, yeah, fish, fish a little high. I don't know if this resets every game or what, but this town is never good to buy food in. i uh, buy a little bit just to make sure I don't star. And then... They head out. Mmm, here is a little overview of the Nords. 
This is the kingdom of the Nords. I'm down to nine men. And it's not a lot of men. I had to tell you. <laughs> Cats never closes. I mean, that's not a lot of men. Or something. Still not remembering how to fast forward. So we will just go ahead and do that with some clippage. So I made it more or less without incident. Up to Vertic, which is a place that I thought I remembered. That we could buy a lot of fish and stuff and trade it around because I thought it was cheap. I recruited a couple of men. But otherwise nothing really interesting happened till I got to Vertic. And I get to Vertic. And I go swimming around in the streets there like a fish. Because, you know, I thought I needed a drink. <laughs> And I remember old Rolf, and I don't think I like him very much. I remember the travelers and the troubadours, and I'm thinking I don't need to talk to them either. And I run myself upstairs, and there's still no one interesting to talk to. So I take myself back out by the front way. No, no, let's talk to Rolf just for a second. Just to be sure I don't like him. But, yeah. No. Yeah. Actually. No. I don't like him. He talks too much. So I take myself to the marketplace. And I see that I'm probably supposed to be buying salt and not fishes. Because the fishes are no less expensive. Or not much. Yeah, so I buy a little bit more food just to see. I can salt and leather probably here, but it used to be when I was here they always had the cheapest food. I don't know what's going on up here. So there's Verchig, where I just got my stuff. And down here is Kuro. Which is where I usually go to sell the stuff from Virtig, and I had bought a little bit of it just to see. And I decided to take myself down there. And here we go. Around about here, I finally decided to go look up how to make my horse run faster. Like I said earlier, it's control space, not shift space. So here we go, on our way to Kuro, trying not to get intercepted by any enemies, and we made it. The orcs are amassing an enormous party, and are planning on plundering and conquering it all. <laughs> Someday I gotta write Gustav and ask him to change. I think his name's Gustav. I forget what his, he calls himself, but he's the guy that does this mod. Great guy. Do not like that message. Anyway, come to find out, selling... Well, to get back into character, selling smoked fish here is a waste of time and a loss of money. And there's nothing here that I can afford. I've only got 115 dinners. So I've got all this food and I can't afford any of that iron and I'm not even sure that's a good price for the iron. Oh, cloth doesn't look good. Nothing looks good. So I decide to leave the tomb and go looking for some blood. Yes, I'm being very careful here. Don't want to get still tiny, tiny little warband I've got here with. Very green recruits. I don't want to run into anybody that I can't whoop. So when I'm looking for looters, basically, a wee small band of sea raiders about half my size, if I can get away with it. Of course, it's dark and I can't see nothing, and I'm scared to death. I'm gonna run into another one of those big bands of sea raiders that'll kick my arse. And then I'm running out of money, and I'm really depressed. And I'm thinking to myself, Self, 
This one is such a bright idea coming up here because this is where the big sea raiders are. And I find that little one there and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Let's go for it. I'll be swanied if they're not too fast for me. Look at them running away. And I'm thinking just any second now I'm going to run headlong into a band of about 120 of them. So I'll go the other way. don't remember exactly why I decided to go this way. Maybe I was going to Rivichig. Don't know. There we are. There's a little wee party of sea raiders. And they're just waiting for me to pluck their eyeballs. No, I'll drink from your skull. Ha! I'm not afraid of you. George! So... I get the little bastard to sit up right on this hill and it doesn't really dawn on me that I've only got one stupid archer and all the rest of them are a bunch of green recruits. So I send the recruits down there. They don't really go anywhere. <laughs> go a little further I tell them. Down the hill! Leave the archers on the top of the hill and you go down and there's that one slimy little archer. So, I finally just decide, oh yeah, I remember to bunch them up a little bit. You can get them in a little knot, they fight a little better, because you'll, you'll outnumber the people that are straggling along towards you. So you get them in a nice little knot like that and then charge them in. They go out still injured, not, oops, not really very good at fighting still. And, but my guys are just beating everybody up because I've got them all in disarray. I'm running circles around them and making them get taken down one by one and I even missed that guy. And that one, and that one. And that well, oh. and then I make a mistake and get myself clobbered a couple of times, and I'm like, I better get out of here, or you're going to die again. And that was that. Turned out it was just enough to make a few experience points anyway. Look, still trying to figure out how to do anything. Quit throwing your stuff on the ground, you fool! So, I got a little bit of this and that here. As it turns out, I don't have enough skill with the bow yet to actually use it. And I don't have any arrows anyway. So I skip that. None of this junk is worth using, so I just take it all to sell. to upgrade some of my troops because they finally won a battle. So I split them around halfway down the middle, half of them footmen, half of them archers. So maybe it'll do me some good to use a little bit of tactics next time. Apparently I lost a couple of them. <laughs> How did I have 14 before? I'm not sure. And then of course I raise my own charisma because I'm thinking Spells. Spells! I want to be able to cure myself. That's what usually goes wrong is I get injured and I can't fight anymore. Come on, come on. No, you want to do it. There you go. One more, one more. One. Oh, come on. There you go. Charisma. Nothing left to put over here. Just amp up the archery. And there we go. Well, folks, I think that's it for today. Hopefully we'll go to the Ribicheg or do something interesting next week or maybe next month or next year sometime. No, seriously, I'm going to try to post these more often. I just don't know how often. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.